All right, so I wanted to show um, a way of kind of, you know, concatenating data and stuff that's being returned to make it simpler to work with uh, from the bubble side as well. And uh, so you can see here, you know, we have this same list of customers and we're showing, you know, the first name here in the beginning. Um, the way we have it set up in bubble is we have, you know, parent group, Xanos, uh, customers, first name. So we could do, right, like, um, oops, let's not do that. Let's click in here uh, and just do like a, a space and then uh, do parent groups, customers, you know, last name. And if we look at this, you know, then we're going to get our, you know, our first and last name and kind of uh, do that on the front end. But uh, what happens is you kind of have to, you have to manage that, right? Like anywhere you're going to show these, uh, anywhere you're going to show these names, you're going to have to manage that, uh, that process. And you really wouldn't want to do it, you know, that way. Uh, what you would want to do is actually, uh, let's just get rid of this and do like, um, and I can't click on the right one to save my life here, uh, append, right, and then space, and then we're going to do append, and then do parent group sign as customer, um, let's do last name, and then do trimmed, right? And so what this will do, right, it, it puts it all into, uh, it says first name, and then uh, you know, space and last name, but if it doesn't have a last name, you don't want that space in there. So the trim will cut that all off. Um, and so you, you would do it that way. And it really, I mean, it, it works fine. It, it looks good. Uh, but again, it's just something you have to remember to do. So generally what you're going to want to do is uh, in Xeno, we can use what's called an eval. So let's go into our query and we'll go into our output and we're going to go down here and we're going to hit eval right here. So let's just say eval and then we're going to grab first name and let's just say we're going to return this as name right so uh first name and then we're going to use a concat function so we'll say concat and uh in here um I'm just going to do a space and we could use expression to to you know build out uh more of this we're going to keep it you know using the standard um xano filters uh just for now to, to keep it easier because i think probably um, most of you are still using the, the filters. Generally, I know I still am. I'm still learning the expression data types. I think it's going to be very powerful, but uh, just not just not there yet. But And then we'll do uh, concat again, right? And then we're going to grab uh, the last name. Okay, so what, I mean, what we're doing here is we're saying for each item in this in this that we're returning, uh, let's return an additional parameter here as name. And then we're going to take the customer first name, we're going to add a space, and then we're going to add the last name. And so we're returning this as a full name. It's not that way in the database, but we're returning this to the front end this way. So we hit save, and then uh, save. And if we rerun, boom. Okay, so now we have, right, so first name, last name, Shepard Wooten. And now here we have a completely concatenated uh, response. Um, but then probably what we want to do is, uh, you know, minimize what's actually being set here. So um, we don't need the created at, we don't need first and last name now. Let's just say, because uh, really all we're showing is the company name and uh, state. And so we'll just say, uh, we're gonna get rid of all this. We'll leave state, we'll leave company name and we'll leave name. And let's just say, we'll leave the ID, that's fine. And so now we rerun this and this is what we get back uh, with this uh, with this customer, right? So. The thing now we need to do is we're going to need to add name as uh, the parameter to our uh, to our collection that we have defined here. So let's go back into Bubble, go to Plugins, go to the Xano Customer, manually enter, and now I'm just going to type this. You could copy and paste this, but I'm just going to say name and then save, and then just make sure that's defined as text. And then that will give us access to this. Uh, here on the front end. So instead of doing all this, now we can simply let's just clear the expression. Let's do parent group Sano's customer uh, name, and then we'll just throw a trim down there to make sure that there's no uh, there's no additional spacing. Uh, go here into the front end, refresh. Oh, we didn't publish that. Let's publish it. Remember to publish Eli. Do this all the time. All right. Go back. Now we can see we're getting the same uh, same data, 
but it's now we don't have to remember how to do that on the front end. How are we returning this? And it gives us a way if we do that, uh, that kind of concatenation and stuff in the endpoint um, where we're re retrieving the data, we have full control, right? So you don't know where all you might be showing this, but if we're sending this back, if we decide we want to change how we're displaying that name, then you can just change it in the endpoint and it'll, it'll change across your entire front end. So hopefully that helps. Kind of a quick tip on uh, returning custom data to your front end uh, and um, making things a little bit easier when you're setting things up uh, in bubble. So cheers.